Hi, everyone. Um, so today's um, today's community call is dedicated to uh, communicating some of the outcomes that um, from the discussions that we had during the uh, last week's uh, RDA Research Data Alliance meeting, where we are um, a number of people working uh, on different aspects of DMPs. And we had a session that we ran. I see some people already that are in this call um, who were there, like Hakim. Uh, and we um, we talked about uh, different things, like how uh, on the technical side, what is needed to maintain the standard for DMPs uh, that offers the interoperability and machine actionability. Then uh, we also talked about uh, disciplinary aspects. So what uh, we have now uh, in terms of templates and how, how they are translated uh, in uh, disciplinary needs, uh, domain-specific needs, and uh, what the group in RDA is working on to facilitate with guidance on uh, domain-specific DMPs, uh, and also uh, about software. Uh, another discussion that we had, and actually what where I would like to focus our discussion as well, uh, is software management plans, because we are moving away from uh, only describing data um, to also describing software workflows and other types of outputs in the data management plan, that traditionally called data management plans, right? Um, so, yeah, with that being said, um, just let me see my notes <laughs> from that session. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, so the the community, uh, first of all, let me say that it was a packed session, uh, both online and, and in the room. Uh, many people were present. So we had a good variety of people like from data stewards, different backgrounds, data stewards, research support staff, service providers, and even researchers uh, providing their input, right? And specifically for software, what uh, we all um, agreed, and uh, th there's a common, let's say, agreement on that, that um, research data is not enough in a DMP. Um, and also that we need more awareness to be raised uh, and guidance to be provided uh, to researchers on how to embed uh, best practices and fair principles also in their uh, current templates and the DMPs. Um, we also talked about, yes, social and community aspects like uh, misconceptions around open software and uh, that software has, a, you know, it's very, um, uh, pr prone to uh, misconceptions and is very heavy in terms of IPs, intellectual properties uh, involved uh, when uh, when developing software and managing software. And overall, there is a fear of people sharing their code, and especially uh, we also fo we focused on um, this discussion about how students perceive uh, uh, sharing their code. Uh, then we we talked about a project. We talked about if software management is something new, and we had some arguments that actually software management plans um, or just yeah software management plans is not something new. And a couple of people um, agreed that uh, project management, in software engineering, like with agile methodologies. Uh, and um, and Scrum, uh, you know, all those kinds of methodologies secures proper management. So it's something that it is embedded in uh, the software uh, uh, practices. Um, and then in terms of how we communicate that, um, there were different uh, things. Um, we brainstormed a bit if, if we need one template to cover software, or if we need two templates, one to cover data and one to cover software. So it will be 
one that uh, incorporates all elements, let's say, or will it be two different or even three different if we're talking about other outputs as well? Uh, and the example of the open science uh, plan uh, of NASA was um, was uh, mentioned, and also um, what was also um, let's say mentioned as an idea was the um, approach of having a ha having uh, approaching let's say DMPs not as templates, but as decision trees. Um, and then we also talked about reusability and reproducibility. It's very uh, crucial also to have those elements in software management plans or plans that incorporate software elements, let's say, um, uh, to know when there is a description of the methodology used and under what conditions the code is stable, for example. Um, and having that, um, let's say that uh, recap from this session, uh, because we, I wanted to, to bring this to, to this community call because we're already working on different levels uh, on the Argo software, the open DMP software that Argo is based. And um, especially for software, we are working on creating both a, a, a template uh, as I think I mentioned in the previous community call, uh, and uh, seeing how we can uh, have both data set descriptions and software descriptions in the um, in Argos. Of course, it supports several templates, so a DMP in Argos can have both elements. But uh, I would like to to see and understand what are your challenges, especially. Uh, when you're asked to support or even yourself write uh, how fair your software is, taking the Horizon Europe template, for example, or another template that you're working on that encourages or even mandates, I don't know, the description of software. So this is why I wanted to bring this to, to discussion in our forum here. Um, maybe you would like to to say a few things about what's also a hurdle maybe that you have or, or how you are uh, doing things um, with the template that you that you use in Argos. Anyone would like to step in? Maybe, Hakim, you want to add something from uh, discussions within RDA? Uh, well, I think you summed it up pretty well, but uh, sorry, I should use the microphone. Uh, I think you summed it up uh, quite well, although there were part of this discussion were in breakout groups and I was in another group where we focused, had a more narrow focus on the MADMP schema, and the, the DMP common standard uh, specification, uh, together with Marek Sushanek uh, from the DSW. And uh, one thing that we were uh, discussing was uh, the need for having uh, affiliation in the schema, since there is a user need both from, uh, I mean, RDM staff and uh, universities to be able to to see the uh, to find easily by way of an API, for example, the, all the DMPs output. Uh, from different sources, whether it be Argos or or, uh, or, or other uh, DMP uh, template providers, uh, to to find those easily and to I mean, kind of bibliometrics or scientometrics uh, 
alignment uh, there. So, so that, and there is uh, per, uh, presently a pull request from Brian Riley at DMP Tool for uh, adding that to the schema. So that was something that several in our group supported to, to I mean, to, to approve that pull, pull request. Uh, but uh, to say something personally about uh, software uh, management plans, uh, I have to admit I'm a bit skeptical skeptical about that if this would mean for researchers to have to fill out another document. Uh, so uh, what we've done in our uh, far from, from perfect DMP online uh, local template, we've uh, we included specific questions about software. Uh, maybe they're not specific uh, enough or detailed enough, but I think it could be done. And uh, as I perceive Argos to be a more flexible uh, and adaptable instrument, I think it, it would be possible to do that in Argos as well and do it in, better than we have succeeded to do at Stockholm University. So that's my comment. Thank you, thank you, Hakim. So not adding a whole template, like for example, the software, oh, is it software heritage? There are some templates available for software, for example, but like big templates, not adding a whole template, but just cherry picking the questions that better fit. Um, then it's okay okay that's the software okay thank you thank you very much uh anyone else who would like to say a few things like how do you add software in the dmp what are the the elements that you would like to see yes yes alan hi Hello. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, we, can you hear me first? Yeah. Okay. Just check. Yes. Yes. I just muted <laughs> so that we, we hear you and not me. Okay. Good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, regarding software, uh, whether in source code form or uh, compiled or anything, our practice basically is to. Uh, just make sure that the researchers who mentioned something about uh, processing or analysis uh, or anything like that in the, the DMP, do not forget that uh, well, software should also be uh, part of their output and see how far they can uh, fit that into the the existing sections of the of the DMP, regardless of the of the template on guidelines and on some templates. We also stress the fact that uh, this uh, this should be considered as well because otherwise many people forget it uh, to the point that uh, actually. Some uh, mathematicians and uh, IT scient uh, information scientists uh, tend to disregard the DMP entirely because, well, they don't produce data, they just write software. Uh, yes, but. Uh, um, so, yeah, in a way, regarding the idea of uh, having different templates, uh, having a template specifically labeled software uh, output template would make it uh, much clearer that uh, this is included as well. Uh, but all the people who already uh, write DMPs uh, contain uh, code and uh, more uh, conventional data would just uh, 
start crying that, okay, yes, yet another template, even if it's the exact same questions that uh, they have in the other document. So yeah, at, at least when they, when they, uh, uh, how should I say that? Yeah, when we look at reference documents uh, to uh, perhaps help in uh, GMP, that's, that looks even scarier than it already is. But perhaps in an online, uh, in a well-designed uh, online platform to create the DMPs, uh, it could be integrated in, in a smoother way, perhaps. That's in my, uh, my Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for your, uh, yeah, for your input and your perspective on software in EPSL, at, at EPSL. Um, anyone else who would like to join us in, in this, provide their input? Um, can I just uh, comment on what Alan just said? So, so I I take it you 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 suggest uh, uh, directed templates to to different groups then for for those who are mostly into software and, and only software uh, and uh, you could have a software management plan templates but uh for for the others uh, uh, it would be enough to to integrate uh, certain questions about software because i mean even those that do not themselves produce software uh, most researchers use some kind of software anyway and it's important to know what kind of software they they use to produce their data to uh, that that's the perspective we had when we designed our templates so and also we uh, for for example there are questions about certain types of software that are only in the cloud and if you use that for personal uh for personal for processing personal data it might be an issue with that according to gdpr and, and so forth so so that's why i think it's important to always have questions about software use but it's another thing when your main business uh, as a researcher is to produce research software yourself uh, so maybe those are two different kind of groups that should be addressed with different templates i see so oh sorry, sorry. yeah I, I i agree that these are two slightly different uh questions i mean one is uh well software as an output and the other one is uh, software more uh, well as a tool as a as a method really and uh, yeah, the, the the questions would of course be different. But uh, well, the, the, we we would not ask the same questions about these uh, two different objects, obviously. Sorry. <laughs> yes, thank you. So the one would be a template, a full template, and the other one would be just questions that can be incorporated in in a template for DMPs like traditional DMPs, for example, right? Um, okay, uh, and then how many of the other participants like um, see the, that uh, issue? Like what template do you use and how do you, um, how do you describe software currently in the template? Um, Maybe, maybe, who can say maybe? I, 
I could say a few words. Soile Manninen from University of Helsinki and one of the coordinators of Finnish uh, DMP Tuuli DMP community. Uh, we have a national uh, template for all users, but uh, universities and research organizations can uh, take or use their own template too. And uh, our template uh, is quite quite the same as the Science Europe template. We have a little bit different order in our template, and it is quite general. And there is possibility and guidance how you can describe using software or if software is important, you can tell it on your DMP, but it's not compulsory to use that or tell that if you don't use. So this is quite flexible in these days, but I'm very interested to hear what kind, what kind of uh, development we have with these software management plans. And we have to discuss that in here. That is, that is my comment. Thank you very much. Uh, how, how do you pronounce your name? Soile? So, I don't yes. want to make sure. Soile. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your opinion. Thank you very much. Uh, right. So you follow Science Europe. That's, uh, that's also good to check what Science Europe uh, actually is doing and if they have any. Um, like if they have any updated version that they're working on, maybe that incorporates more elements on, on software. Uh, that, that could be done as well. All right, anyone else who would like to jump in? Right, so if not, then let me share my screen and show you what um, we are thinking of. <laughs> and, and some things we are thinking of and some things we're already working on. So uh, let, me, let me see. Uh, Here we are. Okay. So here is um, the current version of like the, the Argos uh, website. This will change in the future, but not website, sorry, the tool, <laughs> the dashboards and, and all the different um, uh, functions on, on the software. Um, this will change, but it's it's fine. You don't have to to worry about that. Not many. Um, we're just going to make it more minimal. Let's say uh, when you access the tool. Um, focusing on what I was saying before about the software management plan. So you know that when you started DMP, um, started from Argos, you can add the name, of course, add the description. Specify the researchers, the organization, and the language. Specify the funding organizations. <laughs> Specify the grant, for example. Uh, give a license to the DMP so that others know how to, when they find it, uh, how to use it. change the access rights for when uh, it should be openly available, for example. And fourth step is when you can define the templates. So here, uh, for example, we can go with Horizon Europe, right? And we are working on a template that will be about software taken from the or, or templates that already exist, we're not going to uh, reinvent the wheel or do things our own, like take what, what's out there and add it in the in the tool so that you have another, um, not ready yet, so I'm not going to show you 
this, but for example, let's say that this is uh, this is the software management plan, the, the software template, and this is the Horizon Europe uh, template. You can add it and start um, start describing the data sets. This will change. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm communicating that to you because uh, it would be good to also know your uh, input and what you feel about what we're going to do. Um, so this will change. It's not going to be only data set because of course you can describe more things than the data set. Uh, this was kept as a legacy from, from the software uh, when we deployed it. So this will be title of data set software, whatever it is that you are uh, describing each time. And then if this is a software, then you will be able to select the software management plan and continue with the software management plan, uh, describing, answering the questions or um, you know, uh, describing things that are relevant to the software. However, uh, and I think the next community call is going to be about the software management plan. So this is why uh, your input is, is needed. However, the Horizon Europe, uh, if I add the data set, and check the Horizon Europe template, already has some, um, some questions about software, as we all know, not, not about software, but there is this section where uh, they encourage us to um, describe other types of output. And I wanted to know um, how you are using this section and what you would like to change uh, in, in Argos. Because if we're going to have two templates combined, for example, as I showed you, the one will already have some information. No, actually, maybe that solves the issue that you described, Joaquin and Alan, because um, we're going to have some minimum questions for software on the Horizon Europe, and then we're going to have a large template for software management plans uh, on the other side. And if you choose both, you can choose the questions that you want to answer, basically. Um, would that make sense? Would that be enough? Is this confusing? Like, please, um, please let me know. Sounds good to me, but uh, I, I'd like to see it in practice before uh, <laughs> saying anything definite. But uh, to me, it sounds like uh, the perfect middle ground to, to, to okay. take. Okay, right. Uh, thank you, because we're putting lots of efforts in uh, um, expanding this uh, to, to to be able to be more flexible, as you mentioned, Joaquin. So we want to do it right. Then let's see. Okay, so now we're going to change. Oops. Okay, let's leave. So we're going to change what I showed you. This screen. Uh, it's not going to be only about data sets. It's going to be about more things, including software. And then uh, we're going to have uh, the software management plan, as I uh, mentioned. Okay, but uh, for from the rest of the people, like how do you do? You, have you used the Horizon Europe, for example, template? Let's stop sharing, maybe, and go back to the discussion here. Mm. I don't know, Anna, Karina, Carolyn, I'm choosing names that I see in the list, the first names that I see in the list. Maybe you want to share something? Okay, then I think the, okay, I think the way to do it is, okay, I understand that you, well, some of you already would like to uh, 
seeing um, software being uh, embedded in, in the tool and you want basically more practical um, more practical to test it so right so i'll i'll dedicate the next community call then to software although i wanted to to have it for horizon europe let's see uh, but either the next one or the one after that will be about software management plans for sure because we will have them to be already working on that uh, ready and then um, maybe whoever uh, would like to uh, test it uh, can volunteer and let me know how you feel um, the, the flow, the, the workflow uh, when creating the DMP uh, works. Does it sound sensible, reasonable? Okay, then, um, right. Now that was a short <laughs> community call. Unless you want to, unless you have um, questions on, on anything uh, apart from the social management plans, I'm happy to, to take them. Right. Um, um, considering the complicated relationship between Switzerland and the EU and its consequences on research programs, we don't get to use the Horizon Europe. Yes so much but i look forward to studying the argos implementation <laughs> okay thank you Anna. uh thank you uh we'll uh let you know either the next one or the uh, the the one before that the uh, the one after that will be for for the social management plan right i have a special request <laughs> since, uh, okay. yeah. Since, since, since you know that uh, I'm working on this test in this test environment on the data set template, uh, I have had difficulties to add uh, tables as input. Could you please show us how to do that? Ah, I can show it to you again. Yes. No uh, because I've chosen the rich text input, but uh, then I, I see no tools to create a table in, in there. Ah, uh, okay, I can... Let, let Maybe me, I chose so the wrong tool. Let me show you. So let me go here and show my screen. Uh, share screen. Right here. Okay, so this is about uh, creating your own template. Uh, and if you go to create your template, for example, let's say that this is a table. Okay. Uh, so I'm doing this very quickly so that I go where I should. Okay. I'm defining the language and everything. Then I go to step two which is to create the template. So, <laughs> I'm really sorry, something's around me. Uh, then I can create my first chapter. So as you know, Argos, um, for admins or template editors, Argos is, has chapters, sections, and questions. And every chapter should have at least one section and at least one question. So chapter one, let's say, is this one section for table? This is the section, and then other question. Question, let's say it's going to be about uh, data set table. So I can provide a description, of course. I'm not going to do that now. Uh, I can select the type. So if I want my table, first, before selecting the, the type of the input, I need to have in mind what I want the table to have, as every column to have as information. So for example, I would like, let's say, to have um, the name, which is going to be a free text so that they can write the name. Uh, 
uh, here is a plain text, which I have to name name. Because this is going to be, when I transform this uh, to a table, it's going to be the name of the column. The input placeholder text is going to be the name of the column. Um, then I can add more inputs. So I can have the name, let's say, then I want to have the metadata maybe. Okay, let's add it here. Let's also provide it in a placeholder text so that it becomes the heading of the, the column. Let's also add another one for licenses maybe. So I want to know the licenses of the data set, right? Let's also add the placeholder text, make it also multiple choice. Um, let's say that three columns are okay. And once I do that, I select the multiplicity from here. I go up, oops, I went beyond up. I go up and here I can see uh, the number of rows that I want the table to have. So I can change it to 10, for example, 10 rows. And then if I click view inputs in table, this box that says view inputs in table and scroll further, then now I have a table. So it's multiplicity. Then you go up, you check how many, what's the maximum amount of rows that you want your table to have, and you click the view inputs in table, and then you have it, and everyone can provide a name, select the metadata for this data set, and licenses. Right, let's see and do the same for the next and continue like that. Great, okay. thank you so much. <laughs> Good, no worries. Any other questions? Right, I see something in the chat uh, from Mauro. Sorry, I cannot open the mic because I'm in the office with a lot of colleagues. Uh, that's That's all right. Uh, it's better than I, I'm here by myself, so it's good to know that <laughs> you are uh, surrounded by my colleagues and people. That, that's awesome. Uh, I've been just hired by Polytechnical de Torino to provide support in open science research data management. I've already helped some researchers in writing the DMPs, but nothing regarding software at the moment. Surely in the future I will have to, and I will come back to you on this. Okay, yeah, thank you. So it's good to see actually many. Italian institutes and universities um, hiring uh, data stewards and data support staff, uh, DMP support staff. It's really, uh, it's, it's really nice to see. Um, strength, you, 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 you supporting the uh, researchers, Italian researchers. Right. Anything else? Um, that you would like to know, see, or ask? Because it's not only me asking questions, it's also, it's also you. Ah, Julia says it's because now the researchers have it mandatory also from national funds in Italy, yes. It's a nice, um, yeah, it's, ni it's nice to see that Julia, uh, Italy being involved, uh, you know, just providing infrastructure for that as well. Right. Anyone else? Okay, if not, then we resume uh, our discussions for next time, where at the moment we're working in many, many things. So next time we'll be either about the template or about other things that we're working, or about the Horizon Europe uh, and new things that we are, uh, we will be launching uh, for the, this specific template. So, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, really nice to to see you and hear you, and uh, talk to you very soon.